another loaded envelope that I made for my sweet friend Betsy. She is Betsy's Gifts here on YouTube. And uh, we are in the loaded envelope galore. And we just swap loaded envelopes left and right. <laughs> Her and I <laughs> were swapping all year long. And this is so much fun. Uh, Betsy's very girly and I'm very girly. So we love to make each other girly uh, projects. So um, let's get started. Uh, it's, a, it's a loaded envelope and it's a traveler's notebook. Okay. So uh, there'll be a second video following showing you the traveler's notebook that matches the loaded envelope. Okay. So here's my loaded envelope. Unloaded. I will load it for you. Um, this is from the Julia Nutting uh, collection, paper collection that I've been saving forever and I'm so happy to use it here. So it doesn't need much because it's a pretty busy paper collection. But I did, um, I did some die cuts, some wall orchid crafts. I made some bows uh, with my Cricut. Some pretty pearls. A really nice chunky charm that I think Betsy gave me this. A really pretty uh, wax butterfly that I got from um, Tuesday morning. And in the back, I added some stickers from the paper collection. And then I cut Betsy's name out with my Cricut. So this is so much fun to do. I just love it. Okay, so first of all, let me zoom in. Okay, we have these really pretty little embellishments I made for her. And I made these toppers and these really pretty foam stickers that I got from Tuesday mornings. They're so adorable. I forgot the name of this company, but the stickers are just gorgeous. And I'm sending her some cheesecloth. And I'm sending her some die cuts here. I cut extra for her. And this tag here, I created it in my um, Cricut as well. And um, I sent her a few of those too. So these are going to go in here. This one in the front, because it's puffier. There we go. Okay. And then behind this, my little card that I made for her. And this really pretty bookmarker that I made for her with my Cricut as well. I just love it. Look at how pretty this paper. It's just so Victorian, vintage. Uh, I just love it. And this is gonna go in the back. I go tuck all the way at the bottom. And this is a six by nine loaded envelope, so it's perfect. Okay, next I'm gonna add this really pretty tag. That I made for her. It's so pretty. It's a primitive heart uh, tag or tilde heart, whichever you prefer to call it. And I made a really pretty wire holding here. So pretty. And this um, little frame from Brigitta. Thank you, Brigitta. She sent me so many die cuts. We did a die cut swap and she just sent me so many. I just, I love them. Okay, and that's gonna go tucked in right there. Okay, next is another little tag that I did using this tag that I made from my Cricut. So it's a crown and then a tag and then I just did like these really pretty, I don't know, makes me look, uh, feel like it's like a dresser or something. I don't know. So pretty. 
And I decided to use this khaki color just to kind of match the muted tones here. So this is so pretty. Here's another frame from Brigitta. Thank you, Brigitta. Cheesecloth. Um, some bows for my Cricut. Waldorf crafts. I used my diamond stickles on most of this. And some really pretty stickers from the paper collection and some flatback pearl dots. And that is going to go here. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys this little dress form in the front. I don't know if you can see the tiny little crown. <laughs> I was crazy looking for a punch, a crown punch, and I found one in, on eBay. But it didn't say the size. And when I got it, it was like this tiny little punch. I was like, what? But I guess it came in handy because it's so cute. Okay. And then, um, let me see. Okay. So now for the back. On the inside, it already has some goodies that are for her to see. And then I have this really pretty sequence mix. Kind of matches the paper. And this really pretty frame that I got from Tamika. Tamika is Scrap the World here on YouTube. Thank you, Tamika. And I am going to attach this. Oh gosh, how did I do it earlier? Okay. First, I'm going to attach this. Okay. And then I will attach the... Hello how pretty that looks I just always love to hang stuff on the back I love to clip stuff there just so pretty okay and then I got these really straws really pretty straws I don't know where I got these from I think I got these from Dollar Tree or Daiso and then somebody gave me these in a swap I don't know if it was Kelly but it's just so pretty and it matches this paper perfectly with the roses. So that is going to tuck in. Like so. Okay, now last but certainly not least. My really pretty, pretty wand. That I just love making. I hate the task of cutting them. <laughs> and gluing them and it's just uh i don't know i get stressed out but then when i see like the bow and the wand i'm just like uh, i'm so happy i did it <laughs> just makes it so much prettier and um i know betsy loves these bows so i like making them for her and that's gonna go tucked in in the corner right there okay and then I made one more wand for her and it's just so pretty I love this paper collection it's so vintage so Victorian uh, with the exception of this uh, white with the gold dots that was some from a different paper collection but that it went well with this one and another one of my crowns wild orchid crafts diamond stickles and then a really pretty die cut as well from my Cricut another little bling uh, sticker here that I got from Betsy sending that back to you Betsy <laughs> some cheesecloth and some really pretty um, gold tool so this is my loaded envelope for Betsy and once again she's Betsy's gifts here on YouTube and stay tuned for pictures so you can see the details of the loaded envelope and look out for part two of the swap with Betsy the traveler's notebook that matches um, here it is and it matches um, this pretty loaded envelope so um, look out for that video and I will see you guys later. Bye.